In today's video, I'm going to show you the location of every single phantom echo inside of Withering Waves. Now, if there's more than one location to find them, then I'll also show you the other locations for it. So let's get right into it. First of all, we have the Phantom Hortoise, and this can be found in a few locations. The first one is at the top of the map, so the top left, and you're going to, it's going to be under this uh, sort of area. And if I zoom in, I'd recommend going to this uh, resonance beacon, and then sort of just gliding across over here. So what you're going to be looking for is, you want to go down sort of this shoreline here, and along here you'll see tons of these turtle thingies. And um, there's a chance that it can spawn and be one of those. So something I should tell you about this is that these locations won't guarantee they'll be there. This is just where they will spawn when they do spawn. So if you don't find it your first time, keep, you know, go back to these locations, keep looking because they will spawn here eventually. So you can see here there's tons of these guys here. And you basically just want to look down the shore here for one that is shining. Um, you'll know that you found it. It will be different to the other ones it'll be very obvious but just walk down the shoreline here and see if you can spot them um, and if not there is actually a second location for this as well that you can go ahead and follow so for the next location for the phantom hortoise we're looking at the bottom of the map here it's going to be in the dim forest area and you want to go to this beacon here and we're basically going to be walking up this sort of uh, river here until we find it Again, just take into account that it's not guaranteed you'll find one on your first try. You have to keep coming back to these locations before um, you get it. But these are locations that they're guaranteed to spawn in eventually. So you just want to walk up the sort of shoreline here. You can go on the edge here and just kind of look into the water to see if they are anywhere. They might also spawn like around here as well. Uh, so just keep an eye out. There's not like one specific place they'll be here. But just look around there. Seems like there's nothing down there. And um, you can also go and look up this mountain here. Up the side here. There's a chance they'll spawn up here as well. Um, although it's relatively unlikely that they'll be up here. But you may as well look if you've made the effort to get here. So we can see there's none there. But that's okay. We'll just have to move on to the next one and we'll come back later. Okay, so the next one we're looking for is the Phantom Rocksteady Guardian. And for this, we want to go to the top right-hand side of the map. So kind of over this area here. And we're going to be going to this uh, nexus here uh, on the Tower of, of Adversity uh, sort of island. Now, where we're really looking to go is up here. So we want to go across to... We basically want to go across this island over here. Um, and there's going to be a chance that we'll see this one over here and we can go ahead and defeat it and then capture it and use it. So this is the island that you'll want to be on, this one here. And they can spawn sort of anywhere on this island. Um, it's kind of a bit empty for me right now. Nothing much is spawning on here, but that's okay. And we're basically just looking for one that's going to be shiny. And you'll you'll see you'll you'll definitely be able to tell when you've seen it. It will be completely different to the rest of them. Uh, so just make your way around the whole island, and see if you can find it. If not, there are other locations for this one as well. For this next location, we want to go to the top of the map, and we're going to go near the um, withering frontline boss over here. So we want to go to this um, beacon. And we're kind of aiming for this sort of area around here, around this uh, boss. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and travel down to there. And we just want to kind of, we can glide around to be honest and just look. But anywhere around sort of the inside of here is going to be a chance to spot one. So just kind of walk around here. See if you can see one that's glowing. So this here is what it looks like. Um, it looks like this, but like a glowing version of it. But yeah, I'd recommend just kind of walking around the outside of this boss bit on the edge here. Um, you could even walk up the top there and kind of peer in. 
But you kind of don't want to go too close into the middle because you don't want the boss to uh, start. Um, these guys aren't really going to do much damage to you. They might hit you, but they're not going to you know, kill you. But um, just go around the outside here, and you can see there's a lot of them. And essentially the way that it works is that you've just got a chance of one of them being a phantom. Um, so yeah, just look around here. And that's going to be the first location, or the second location for them. And then I'll also um, move on to the next one after I've just finished looking. So yeah, I think I can't see anything around here. But those are the two locations you can go ahead to find one of those. Okay, so for this next one, we're looking for the Phantom Impermanence Heron. And this one's going to be slightly different to the rest. So for this, you actually have to go and do an event to go ahead and get it. So we want to go up to events here. And we want to go down to this one called Depths of Elusive Realm. And the rewards that you can get for this, you can see here the Phantom Impermanence Heron is one of them. So we can go ahead and proceed to this event here. And um, basically by following this here, we're going to go ahead and have a chance of unlocking that. So uh, for this, you just want to go to here. And I'll kind of show you once I'm there. Now I believe the only requirement for this is that you are Union Level 17. So... Make sure you've done that, and then you should be able to go ahead and do this um, quest. So I'm just going to go down to it here, and I'll show you once I'm here what it's saying. So basically, you're going to be uh, speaking to this person, and then some tacit discords are going to come out of this door. You basically have to fight through them, and when you go through this um, sort of quest line, eventually as the reward, you're going to get the phantom, as I said earlier. So... This is one of the ones that you can kind of grind a little bit more and you can, you know, you're going to get it as a reward. So it's sort of a guaranteed one. So this is one I recommend trying if it's if you're struggling to find the others. So essentially just work through this quest line and complete all the challenges for it. And then you're going to get the phantom on that one. So let's move on to the next one now. Next up on the list, we have the Felion Beringle, and to go ahead and get this, it's quite simple to do. We just need to go into the store here. We want to go down to the point shop, and then at the bottom, you're going to see this one here. Uh, you can unlock him for 120 of these. Uh, these are the hazard, re hazard records, and it's a special token um, brought back from the Tower of Adversity and can be exchanged for various rewards. So you have to get 120 of those, you can go ahead and confirm and purchase him. Now, similarly, if you want to go ahead and get the um, Thundering Mephis Phantom as well, you're going to have to go ahead and get 300 of these data set points, which you can get from uh, the, the training stuff. So um, they're obtained from Tactical Hologram, and they can be exchanged in here to basically unlock this. And it's also the same for this one here, the Phantom Morning AX. So go ahead and you can unlock these here and you can go ahead and basically purchase it there now one last thing that's all of the phantoms but to go ahead and actually sort of equip them the way you do it is you go over to your um, echoes here and um, let, let's say that you've got let's find one that has an echo this one here you you want to go click on the same sort of um, thing and you want to click on it and at the bottom there'll be a little button here you can click on here, it's going to take you to the Phantom version, and you can basically switch to the Phantom version there. So it won't pop up here as the Phantom version, it will show up there and you can basically switch it to it. But that's basically how you do it. So that's all the locations for the Phantoms, and basically how you get them inside of Wuthering Waves. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped, and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make on Wuthering Waves or any other game in particular. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.